What I want to do in this video is just demonstrate support for uh, Mr. Sid files from Lizard Tech, um, as well as um, Express Server WMS feeds from Lizard Tech inside of QGIS, which is an open source, um, uh, fairly popular open source GIS desktop application. So as you can see here, what I've done is I've pulled up um, Express Server here in my web browser. This is our Demo Express Server site. It's actually available to anyone at demo.lizardtech.com. And I've also gone ahead and opened up uh, QGIS. This is the newest version, uh, QGIS 2.16.3. So um, QGIS is really easy easy to use, which is um, I think a reason that it's so popular. Um, over here on uh, on the left hand side uh, you have a lot of this is sort of your add data buttons here so you see um, we've got add vector, add raster, spatial light, post gis, WMS, etc, WCS, WFS, all those um, different add data buttons. So if you want to add a Mr. Sid file to QGIS 2.16.3 and, and by the way I should note that this is the PC version of, uh, of QGIS I'll make a note uh, a little bit later about the, the Mac version, but um, if you want to add a Mr. Sid file, you simply press the Add Raster Data button. Here I've got uh, a Mr. Sid Generation 4 LiDAR file. I'm going to go ahead and add this one anyway. Um, so if you want to add it, you simply press uh, Add Raster. You, you navigate to the, the Mr. Sid you want, you select it, and it comes down here in your layer, uh, Layers panel. It's a LiDAR file. You can see there's some gradient information right here. And uh, there we go. It's, it's populated. Now, Mr. S uh, QGIS uses the GDAL drivers um, for Mr. Sid, which um, are great drivers, but uh, the only drawback is in QGIS. They kind of render a little bit slow, more slowly compared to uh, some of the other applications out there, like Global Mapper and um, ArcGIS. But, uh, in the PC version, they're, they're fully supported without any issues. So here's your Mr. Sid. I'm going to bring up something a little bit uh, uh, more compelling. Let's see. I've got a whole bunch of demo data here. I'm going to bring in uh, this, this is Niagara. This maybe this Niagara Mosaic here. So again, simple stuff. You just add it like you would a normal raster file, basically. I'm going to zoom to this layer. So there you go. You brought on this brought in this mosaic again it uh, my, my only uh, complaint about this is that it's uh, it takes a little bit to uh, to render the data um, but it is supported I think uh, the more you build up your cache um, the faster the uh, uh, the performance is which is nice but uh, there's no problem with Mr. Sid's not being not being supported in it. So there you go. Here's another one. Hoover Dam Lake Mead. Um, now, if you want to take advantage of a Express Server feed, that's also um, supported. An Express Server simply uh, uh, publishes out its services, its catalogs, as W and uh, WMS. So you add it like you would add a normal WMS in uh, in QGIS. I've already added one here, but um, basically you just hit connect. Uh, excuse me, you would hit new. You type in the name of your connection that you put in the URL, which in this case is the uh, is the Git capabilities link. Let's see here. It's the Git capabilities link from uh, Express Server. Type in a name. There's no authentication um, for a demo server. It's open to the public. But uh, if there was, this is where you would put it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit OK. Hit Connect. And this is where, this is basically your listing of uh, all the different layers come in. For uh, At this point, I'm actually going to choose this JPIP. 
what's uh, what is really nice about Express Server is that it not only um, allows you to stream out as WMS, but you can stream out um, JPEG 2000 as JPEG, which is the, basically the fastest way to uh, to stream JPEG 2000s. So I'm going to hit Add. Close. You see over here, JPIP is now in the and is it now in the um, layers panel. I'm going to zoom to that layer. Here we go. So right now, it's streaming data directly from um, the Express Server demo site right into my QGIS desktop application. Just zooming in. That's bringing in new tiles, new data, rendering it out. So this is a, just happens to be a JPIP um, service of data from the Washington D.C. metro area, area. This is actually uh, this is Roslyn, Virginia. If uh, anyone out there is uh, familiar with Roslyn, you can pick out the buildings where you might work. <laughs> anyway, so um, so there you go. Uh, that is uh, support from Mr. Sid and uh, Express Server in QGIS. Um, it's, uh, it's a great little software package. It's free. Um, now, I want to say that uh, this, again, this is the PC version of the application. Um, if you're using the Mac version of this application, there is a plugin um, that you will need to um, install that is separate uh, from the application itself. When they compiled the, compiled the Mac version for QGIS, um, they don't take advantage of, uh, of uh, Mr. Sid natively, so there's a public, uh, there's a, uh, a plugin that you need to get. Um, if you'd like information on that plugin, uh, you can contact support at lizardtech.com. Uh, we also have a knowledge base article about it. And I think we're uh, going to publish a blog post about it as well, just to let people know and point them in the right direction. Uh, I know uh, more and more folks, especially in the university setting um, and uh, academia, use Macs, um, which is great. But uh, it, there's just one little extra step in order to get Mr. Sid support in that. Uh, they don't do that. They compile the uh, PC version with the GDAL driver for Mr. Sid. And JPEG 2000, all the all the raster types supported by GDAL, they compile all that natively into the PC version, which is uh, which is great, which is just happens to be the one I'm using now. Anyway, um, thanks everyone. I hope this uh, was informative. If you have any uh, questions regarding anything you've seen on this video, please contact support at lizardtech.com, and we'd be happy to uh, answer any of your questions and, and help you out. Um, thanks again and have a great day.